Hello, we're at the IT guys, and we're back again with another Open Office Calc tutorial. So, as promised in the last episode, which if you haven't watched, there'll be a link on your screen now, what we're going to do is a bit more um, cell formatting. So, as we said last time, we did percentages, and we did dates, and currency. So, I'm going to start off with a text format. Text format is used everywhere. For example, the name is going to be a text format. You just go onto text here. It just says the format that it just displays the text. And that's all we need. However, we need to use the text format for something else which you might not expect. It's actually the phone number. Because if you type in say 029208745 whatever, a random number, and press typing in, this isn't our phone numbers, but I just thought I'd point that out. You might notice that the O has disappeared from the front. So, that is no longer a phone number. This is because Excel is considering this as a normal number, and the difference between 01 and just 1 is exact nothing, they're the same number. So it gets rid of the 1 for us. So, we're going to delete that for us. Lovely. So, how do we get the 0 to be displayed? Well, to prove that, we're going to have to make it into text format. So, to do that, on the categories, we we'll scroll down to text, and we're going to click OK. Now, if we click our zero, it will remain in our cell. You'll also notice that the text format, by default, aligns everything to the left-hand side of the cell. I will show you how to change that in a minute, but first, I'm going to be looking at the boolean. Format. So, boolean, if you don't know already, is just a true or a false, fa false value. Can't even speak today, but there we go. So, this one, I'm going to say, do they make a profit? And I'm going to say if they make a profit, if they make more sales than their estimates. So to do this, first of all, we have to create a logical numerator or whatever. So, what are the logical numerators? You have greater I can't type, there you go, greater than, or less than, equal to, sorry, equals is trying to put in a formula, but I don't need to, do I have to click OK, now go underneath, we've got greater than or equal to, and then we've got less than or equal to, these are our logical operators. So this is saying that whatever is before it is greater than whatever is after it. You can remember it a bit like a beak. It's open, it's bigger this side, and pointy and small this side. This one is the opposite. This one will check if this is the same as this, which is obviously not. And this one is checking if it's greater than or the same as. And this one's less than or the same as. So for profit made, I want to say that the actual sales are going to be greater than the estimated sales and click enter. And as you can see, it's automatically booleaned it to true. So if you wanted to set change it to boolean, if it doesn't do it automatically, you click format cells, boolean value, and it'll say true or false. Because we're using logical operators, it will always say true or false and then click OK. However, if I change this to actual sales to say 25, it'll say false because they haven't made a profit because the actual sales are less than the estimated sales. If I wanted to check that say the actual sales are the same as the estimated sales, then what I'm going to do is change our logical operator up here to an equals sign. It's now going to say false, because they're not. If I change it to 50 exactly, it goes to true, because they're both the same. 51, however, no, nope, false again. So I wouldn't use this in this circumstance. That's just an example of how you can use that formatting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to align text in cells to different places. And I'm going to show you change the colours of cells. This is a conditional formatting, we'll get to that later. 
in these tutorials. This is just setting it yourself. So, to so first off, we're going to align the cells. So, I want to make the names all aligned down the centre of the cell. To do that, we're going to press the centre button. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to insert the second column here and change it to say Bob in the first column and Joe's in the second. However, I don't want to have to put the name in twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge those two cells together. You do that using this little button here, which says Merge Cells. Press that, and it'll make them join together, like this. A bit shorter. So, we've now got Bob Jones and the name merged in the middle. I want our wages, which are currently displayed on the left, on the right, don't know my right to the left, and which is using this align right button and like I said I'm going to align them to the left like this so you can change the alignment using these buttons here so all I want to do now is I want to make the uh, let me see the estimated sales a green column here and to do that I have to format cells I'm going to go to the background I'm going to pick I'm going to pick this light green. You don't want to pick a too bold colour, otherwise it gets hard to read your text. And there we go. They're now green. You could also do this, if say I change my mind, using this background colour tool by here. So, I might actually want to go with this green instead. I don't actually like that, it's too dark for my opinion. But, what do you want? What you want depends on your time. I'm now going to change the colour of the text as well. By doing this, I'm going to click on the font colour, and I'm going to make it red. I actually think that looks disgusting. I would never use that in a spreadsheet, but I'm just teaching you how to do it. So, that's how you format cells in Microsoft, o um, not Microsoft o Open Office Calc. Um, that's been Boolean and text formatting, as well as center alignment and changing the colour of cells. So, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time, where we're going to be actually moving on to graphs and charts. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.